Everybody. You know, I have been in love with Malian music for almost 25 years now. One of the reasons is because of the Kamalengoni, but also I just love the music from there. One singer in particular who is a national hero and an icon of Malian music is Salif Keita. Now, Salif is almost 70 years old now, but He's still going strong. In fact, he was here in Silver Spring, Maryland, just outside of D.C., this past Sunday, giving a benefit concert for his uh, foundation for albinism. The concert was amazing. Check it out. Wow, so that was Salif Keita live just this past Sunday at the Fillmore. Did you check out Aruna, the Kamalingoni player? Anyway, uh, I was so lucky because after the concert, I was able to talk to Salif and find out uh, how he felt about the concert and maybe get some news about what he's doing in the future. Donc, uh, what was the feeling like tonight? Tonight the feeling it gave was, I think we had a good crowd and that gave us good energy. It wasn't a bad show. I'm very happy. Me, I saw the love, really. And I could tell that you also love the crowd. I love the audience. <laughs> I love people. Is your whole tour in the U.S. for the foundation? I haven't been to the U.S. for a long time. I miss the listeners here. That is part of it. Plus the tour for the albinos. To sensitize people about the albino cause. I know I saw an interview that you did a few years ago where you said that uh, there hadn't been much aid at all for albinos in Mali. But now, since you've started working toward the cause, has there been any improvement? Yes, it's a lot better now because the government, through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Toure, they do a lot for us. The Lions Club also, who is helping us. There's a lot of hope now. Is it exclusively for Malian albinos? Oh no, it's not for Mali only. It's for all of Africa. The cause for all albinos. Merci. Et pour la musique maintenant. Let's talk about music. Are you still composing now? 
or are you going into retirement? Not from the stage, obviously. I think I'm doing my last album. That will be released in September. This next album will be my last album. No, don't say that. <laughs> but it's true. I've been on the road a long time, and also I'm always isolated because composing is to isolate oneself and to work. So that's it. I'm getting older. I think I need some rest. <laughs> that's true. But do you have some featuring? I saw your single with our uh, daughter of American jazz, Esperanza Spalding. I love that single. Do you have other featurings with other artists like that? Well, I would like to do featuring with a lot of people. But it's not good to talk about because if it doesn't happen, it's sad. Because there is also this thing called showbiz, which is not easy to come across to access artists. But I've already done a song with Angelique Kijo, and it's excellent. Thank you, Salif. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Merci d'être venu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Merci. Well, I hope you enjoyed that feature with Salif Keita, live at the Fillmore in Silver Spring, Maryland, just this past Sunday. I'm Heather Maxwell for Music Time in Africa on The Voice of America.